were peacefully cleaning the table as the maid didn't come for duty. You saw Junko coming down. You smiled gently and went to him. Then he said, Fine, good morning, darling. You still fell? Junko, I told you not to call me by those names, didn't I? Fine, what is wrong in T A R L I N G? Tell me the reason, and then I will stop calling you that. Junko, it is too cringy. Fine, fine. And how about honey, sweetheart, bubblegum, and sweet pop? Junko, my parents named me Junko. That's what you should call me, and I'm not. Sweet and fruity to be like that, he said and left as he adjusted his watch. And when he was about to done with that, he started going out. Why, here is the big box. You're already thin like bamboo. Do you want to become spaghetti? Don't cook. Some people should look at themselves first. My weight is 70 kg and yours is 42 kg. You part arrangingly, as if you were just teasing him, but he always gets serious over everything. You watch him leave, but as a good wife, you can't let him go empty his stomach. You start thinking of a way to stop him by a shout, why English or Spanish? You saw Jungkook stop for a second, but then he starts speaking with his back to face toward you. Jungkook, Spanish, speak now. You start producing what he just said. Saw him turning toward you, why please give breakfast at least have an apple. You say reaching your hand out with an apple on your palm, which you took and left without. Saying anything, as soon as he disappeared from your side, you punch him toward the direction where you left with your eyes closed. Then you say, Vine, what does he think that I am weak and can't fight him? I left him because he is soft from inside. You say that and start going inside the kitchen when suddenly you get a call. You get confused, thinking who might be to call you in the early morning. You look at the caller ID and see it was from your father in law. You smile and pick up the call. Vine, hello, Dad, how are you? Junko father, oh my dear daughter, I'm fine. You always care about me so much. Fine, is everything fine? Actually, I get a bit worried to see you calling this early. You didn't get any response. If you didn't hear your doorbell ring, so you went to open the door with your phone on your ear. And as soon as you opened the door, you saw your lord standing outside with party popper, and you become shocked by the sudden appearance. But then you smile widely and said, Why, oh, Dad, Mom, you always made me. Come inside. I am sorry I couldn't do anything special for you both to visit. Jungkook father's fine daughter, we are here to meet you and our son. Tell me, where the brother is? Why, he went to the office. You both sick. I'm bringing something light for you to both to eat. They note and take their places on so far. Soon you come back with a fresh juice, bread, loaves, and some cookies. Jungkook father, wow, you made all this. Jungkook is blessed with his nice wife. Jungkook mom, what do you mean by that? Am I not a good wife? Jungkook father, oh honey, stop involving yourself everywhere. Why, actually, I made all this for Jungkook breakfast. So it's not much, but I will make more if you like. He just left without eating anything. Jungkook father, how dare that part to do this? I'm sorry, he always hurt you. Why, no, there is nothing like that. You got cut off when you saw Jungkook. Father picking up his phone and calling Jungkook. Jungkook, yes, Dad, what do you want now? Jungkook, father, you punk, I'm your father, learn to greet me properly. Jungkook, don't tell me you reached my home. Again, and we're throwing tent from there. Jungkook, father, come here right now before I come there. Jungkook, I'm busy. Jungkook said and cut the call, which made Jungkook, father, frustrate. Why, I'm fine, Dad, he must be busy. Jungkook, father, no, it's not fine. If we act like this with you, I will never be able to see my grandchild's face. Jungkook mom, kids are too young. Stop saying that. Just stay quiet. If you don't want to say anything, it will hurt their feelings. Why, I'm dad, it's fine. I will talk to Jungkook about this. Would you two like me to arrange room for you? Jungkook father, haha, daughter, we are going on a trip. We just wanted to meet you both, that's all. Why, and what? But you guys didn't even meet Jungkook. Jungkook mom, so what? If that brat doesn't care about this, I'm telling you to give him a chance, then maybe he will become a bit soft. No, we have to go now, our flight is in half an hour. You laugh awkwardly and no, then they both take their thing and they help them as well. After sending them off, you went to rest. In the evening, you were cooking something special for Jungkook and you also made his favorite cake. Then you start waiting for him, but it was quite late now, so you decide to watch TV for the time pass. You watch the news and saw about people getting into accidents really often nowadays. This made him worry. So he dialed Jungkook number, but he didn't pick up the call. 
which made him more anxious. You continued to call him for several times and soon he picked up the call. But before you could say anything, he speak in a harsh voice and say, Chunko, when I'm not picking up your call, it doesn't it mean I don't want to have conversation with you? Why are you continuously disturbing me? I'm driving right now. Don't bother me again. He seemed to the call, leaving your mouth hanging open in the air. You end up signing, then you turn off the TV and throw your phone on the couch in front of you before leaving to your room. You lay back on the bed, then you start talking to yourself. Why? I was just worried. Did I do something wrong? A tear rolled down from your eyes, but you wipe it away and without realizing it, you fall asleep. Soon later, Jungkook came to your shy bedroom and saw you asleep. He was looking so tense, but seeing you sleeping peacefully somehow calmed his anger. He went to the bathroom. Slowly, without disturbing you to change his clothes, soon he came back and decided to wake you up, knowing you didn't eat your dinner without him as well as usual. He went to your side and was about to touch your shoulder, but stopped when he saw a few drops of tears on your face. Chengu, could it be that she cried? Such a cry baby she is. These words left his mouth, but his heart aching a bit, he decided not to disturb you. He didn't eat as well and lay on the back back facing you. The next day, you wake up and saw him sleeping beside you. You look at the time and see it was getting late for him to virtue his company. You don't want to talk to him, so you threw a blow at him, but he didn't respond. Then you pour water on him, which make him wide awake. You sit back and look at you. Junko, what the hell are you doing? You didn't respond and left out from your room, leaving him dumbfounded. When Jungkook went down already in office suit, he saw you throwing the food you made for him last night and did that cut and rot him. Then you just served him boiled milk and eggs and you went to do dishes without saying anything. Jungkook, what's that anger for? You were annoying me during driving. That's why I shouted. What's the point of roaming around in the house with that slug face of yours? Why, you should have thought about this before choosing a slug faced wife. You see, without looking at him, he was. Rubbing your dishes with so much force, taking your anger on them. Jungkook, those dishes cost more than the bandages, so be careful. Why, why will someone even care, even if I got somewhere? You will think about, about something like, oh no, her dress are more expensive than her. You put down your dishes and wipe your hands before leaving to your room. Jungkook sighed and looked at the food in front of him. It was your food, but you didn't eat it, so Jungkook put it in the fridge and left to work. In the evening, Jungo came home earlier than usual, but he got confused. When he found the ha- hall light were off, he turned on the light and called your name but got no response so He sat on the sofa and called you, but he didn't even receive his call. Jungo, she is just repeating what I did. Whatever, I am not going to call her again. She must be bad mouthing me with someone. On the other side, you were in the cinema hall watching a movie, but then you saw a notification on your phone. You took a look and found it was a message from your father-in-law. He had booked two tickets for you both on honeymoon. You sang and was about to type that you can't go, but you don't want to ruin your father-in-law mood, so you just sent a smile emoji and sent those ticket to the picture or to Jungkook who were focusing back on the movie. At night, you came home and saw Jungkook sitting on the back reading his book. You ignored him and put your purse on the stand and tied your head. Jungkook, did you accept going on a honeymoon? As I'm busy nowadays, fine, I'm not in disobedience like some people, so I'm going while the element is coming when you're not. Jungkook for your wings pop out in anger as you have been taunting him for two days, but he didn't come himself and say, Jungkook, fine, then pack your things. We are going together and don't think I'm doing this because of you. I'm going along with you because you don't even know how to speak that language. Fine, she say, and start packing your bag as the Tickets has been booked for tomorrow. Jungo closed the book in his hand and went over the cupboard, but his eyes widened for a second. He cleared his throat and turned himself towards you, holding a hanger in his hand. Jungo, what kind of stuff are you buying and what do you put it on my side? You become tomato, seeing you take me on the hanger. Wine, I never bought such clothes. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. You snatch it away and tend to see the price tag, only to find out it was from Jungkook's mother's door. Why, oh gosh, mom walked in and sneaked into her room to put it. Jungle rolled his eyes and didn't say anything further, then he started taking his thing as well. 
The next day, a boat for an airplane sitting in the business class, you were watching the screen in front of you the whole time while he was reading a book beside you. You felt sleepy, but you can't find a place to keep your head comfortably. So you end up sleeping uncomfortably. Jungkook noticed this and covered you with blanket during this year. Head fell on his shoulder, he sighed and decided not to disturb you. He looked out from the window and saw the beautiful view that you always wanted to see. Jungkook, if I wake her up, she will become annoyed and if I don't, she will be annoyed too. So it's better to let her sleep so I can make up an excuse later. He take out his camera and record video for you to see later. He placed you closer to him so you could sleep peacefully while he shoot the video for you. Time skip when the plane landed, you wake up while Jungkook shaking your shoulder. You sit back and look around while rubbing your eyes. Fine, we reach already. And it didn't even wake me up. You waste my whole plan. What else can I expect from you? You stay and laugh out of the plane with your suitcase, leaving him behind. Jungkook, what is wrong with that crazy woman? Time skip at his private resort. You went to your room without even waiting for Jungkook to join you. But he didn't say anything to you, knowing it wasn't worth nothing. He entered the same room as yours and gave your suitcase to you. His fine mistake, he took his own seat. Jungkook, sorry I come inside without permission, but I don't want to see your undergarments. That's why I'm taking my bag back. Fine, give me a phone. He didn't think twice and handed you his phone. Then you went over to him and back at his chair and took a selfie, which made him shock as hell. Jungkook, what are you doing? Fine, I was just sending the photos to dad that we are here. You sent a photo to your father in law, Jungkook. Are you an idiot? You would have taken some good photos and don't kiss me like that again without my permission. Why? I can say the same thing because someone kissed me in the ass a year ago without my permission and made my life boring as his. Jungkook, I wasn't the one who was so crazy about marrying a handsome guy like me. Now stop the act and behave nicely with me because that's really good for you. Jungkook, I am going to sleep right now. Don't be just to me. You didn't respond and went to the balcony to check the view. He got annoyed as you were getting on his nerves, so he shouted, Jungkook, get ready in the evening if you want to go out to watch the festival, which is going to help today. He said and left from the room while you stood in the balcony unbothered. Vine, I am independent. I can go anywhere alone. I don't need any help from any man, especially him. In the evening, Jungkook came in his room but didn't find you there. So he went to other's room but you were not there. So in the end, he went out and saw you in the pool and the Picnic, which your mother-in-law gave you, his face became fully red. He cleared his throat to get your attention, but you didn't cheer. So you went closer while looking away, but end up getting slip in the pool as well. You gasped at his sudden action. He came out and pushed his way out of his face. Then look how close he was to him. He went out from the pool and said, Chunko, why are you an idiot? Who told you to wear that dress? What if someone saw this? You took the photo and sent it to your mother-in-law this time, which meant Jungkook frustrated as hell. Jungkook, come out at once or it won't be good, I'm telling you. He ignored him, which made him lose his temper, so he'd come and pull again and drag you out. Jungkook, get ready if you want to go to the festival, and you're not allowed to go there alone. If you disobey me this time, I will lock you in my haunted collection room after the trip. Your eyes widened at his word as you're so scared just by thinking about going to that place. You quickly known and go to where nice. Time skip at the festival, you were roaming around without waiting for Jungkook while you were searching for a good place to have dinner. You both went to a restaurant, you were looking at the other couple who were all lovey dovey and here your husband is busy on his phone. You take a sip of your juice and then say, Why, let's go somewhere else, I don't want to be here. Jungkook, what's wrong now, we can't waste food like this. Why, fine, then feed me with your hands. Jungkook, we are in public, eat it yourself. Why, it's not like you feed me even when we are alone. Jungkook, you know what? Let us go. I am going to the counter to cancel the order. He said this in frustration, thinking you will change your mind, but it didn't. Now you were roaming around places in such a good place with no couples. As you got jealous of them, you grabbed Jungkook's hands and dragged him here and there like a baby. You stop at a particular place which was silent. Jungkook jerked off your hands and grabbed your waist to turn you toward him, making you shocked. Jungkook, what are you planning to do, huh? I thought you were here to enjoy yourself, but now I know you were just creating trouble for me. Do you even know how much time I 
wasted your tears to make you happy you flinch at a sudden burst you cringe your fist then you shout back why or oh, really do you even know why i drag you here because i am jealous of seeing either couples we can't you be like others jungle forehead veins pop out as he has suffered a lot because of wearing those things from everyone and he also said that now jungle guy thought you understood that i don't like to be a group of sheep but you never did because you are so childish and blind to the affectionate world because you compare everyone without seeing how much a person is doing to make you happy he said one thing then you bite your lips and say why i am the way i am you shouldn't have married me at first place you give your wedding ring in his hand and he look at you in disbelief jungkook so you want to end this fine then he threw away the ring on the nearby river side making you look at him in shock jungkook go on your way and i'm going on my way he said and start going from there you sob suddenly and shout again why i won't come back ever again he didn't look back and the step from there and you start crying realizing how much you are sad you hit your head and sit down on the bed while sobbing why i don't even know where i am you look in your hand which was empty now you think for a second and then you open your phone to open its torch but your eyes fire when you see that your phone is already switched off you curse your feet and leave to find the ring jungle has thrown away